Hello everybody. Now let's check one video about the new function within the DFL DDP data recovery program. Now I have connected one uh, Western Digital hard drive with some data inside to the DFSRP data recovery hardware. Now I can enter the DFL DDP data recovery program. This is subpart zero. Now I use file extraction to enter the program. Here, the program will list all the lost partitions here automatically. Now we can see there are two partitions right now with this connected hard drive. Now we double click on the partition and we get the folders and files within these partitions. Now we can see this is the folder available within this partition and now we can right click we can find there is a list of available menus this is the sub menus we can see uh, to work with the folder there is one function called export report so for this function it can be used for computer forensic purpose and now let's try we have select this folder and right click we can use export report and here we can um, select the name size now that means name of the folder size of the folder and spray time modify time access time this is the md5 and hash checksum value that means uh, maybe when some engineers have firstly extracted the files and put it somewhere and maybe this drive will be accessed for a second time or accessed for a third time then users all the engineers they can compare the Hashi, the MD5, the hash checksum value to make sure there are low changes or low modifications on the extracted lost files. So this is many for the computer forensic purpose. It's very helpful. And we can also use this sometimes for the uh, free code to the clients. Now let's try. So this is the default selections uh, of the reported files. Now we have we have selected name, size, MD5, and the hash, the SHA1. So these are selected, and we can try to create the report. Click OK, then we need to wait until the report generation completes now we can check from the log window the log window will tell us the process of all the file report generated by the program so after this one we can go to open the report file and check all the file report within this folder so now for the now we can see that this is report file and after the program has completed report file. We can try to open it within the browser. And we can see the harsh report. Uh, the, this is the report generation time. And we can see the file name for all the files within this folder. And it will be listed as this one. These are the options we have selected according to the report. We can see that it's file name, file size, the MD5 value, the SHA1 value.
So when the user tried to access to the pension drive for a second time, third time, and compare, then they can compare these values and see the, if these values have been changed a lot. So if if the values remain the same, that means the value that means the files a lot changed. It was kept as the original status. If so, then this kind of recovered lost files can be used as the court use. So that is the forensic use. Now let's go back to the DF DDP data recovery program, and this is the file extraction interface. Right click, remember this function we have just displayed. How to use this function and how the report file will be opened. So, thank you for watching this video. And all the DFA users can go to the user only forum to download the latest software upgrade and use this function.